What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? Dream Bean, welcome to another episode of Life of a Game Hunter slash Collector. We got a crazy episode today, one I'm a little bit nervous about for two reasons. Number one, we're going to be working on a 3DS that was sent in that does not power on. We're going to see if we can't get that fixed and up and running. And secondly, I am nervous because as you can see, we got three crazy looking packages in. I'll open them up at the end of the episode and we will check that out. So as always, guys, sit back and relax. Let's get to work. guys so we are in the shop as i said this is the 3ds that was sent in by a subscriber he said it's not powering on i've left it on the charger just to give it a bit of a charge and i have tried it you hit the power button and it just immediately flashes uh, the screen doesn't cut on at all this flashes and it kind of shorts itself out i don't normally work on 3ds's or any ds's for that fact i do know a few little techniques to see if we can't troubleshoot some things what I'm really hoping for is it's just maybe a ribbon's not in, uh, is not seated correctly. Um, I'm not sure if the uh, 3DS XL has a Wi-Fi card like the old uh, 3DSs did that could have came undone. We'll check that out. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to unplug this for sure. We're going to remove the SD card. F1 is in. And there is no SD card inside that I see so we're not going to worry about that so let's pull the stylus out alright so then we're going to remove these two screws here I'm going to need a precision Phillips I thought it was tri-wing for whatever reason we'll take that right there there we go and with the back off right here I'm going to take out the battery continue we got some screws here all right you gotta lift this thing up pretty carefully it does have some ribbon cables attached to it there we go and I can already tell this ribbon cable was not attached and that one seats right into here I'm wondering if just that could be the issue I see the Wi-Fi card here, which appears to be good and, and on there. It's this one ribbon cable that doesn't appear to be attached. I'm going to lay that down gently here. I can already tell that is going to be one pain in the butt cable to get in. Oh, Working on these things that are so small... It is not an easy task. Some people can do really well with it, but you know, things like these fuses and whatnot, man, they're so small and, and the capacitors, everything on them are, are ridiculously tiny. Um, but it can be done. I'm hoping that ribbon cable is the, the main cause uh, to why it's not cutting on. So let's try that first. Let's see if I can You'll probably see a big time jump here on how long it'll actually take me to get this in there. Maybe if I pull this one ribbon cable out, I might be able to work it in from the side here. This is this is the fun part of something like this. There we go. Alright, let's try to throw the battery in there. Let's see if that has done it. I hope so. I hope it's that simple. Again, no power light. Let me plug it in just to check that. All right, charge light comes on. And again, doing the same thing. So it was not that ribbon cable. We can try pulling the others out and reseating them. So we got these ribbon cables right here. I'm going to attempt to reseat. And make sure that they are in properly. So we're going to have to have our pointy tool and wedge these out. 
All right, did reseeding it do the trick? Oh, I hope so. No power. It's like it's wanting to short out the second that power goes through it. And I can see from the back case some things are not looking right. Let's open this back up and start taking this thing apart. All right. We're going to take this board out completely. So we're going to remove these screws. Just checking the other side for anything that looks out of the orange. There's rust damage or there's, there, there's water damage at some point. I am going to clean the back of that board up just a bit here. You can tell by all the... I mean, that looks like visual rust, to be honest. Let's see here. All right, we got a little bit off, as you can tell. That just should not be in there. So one thing I am seeing that could potentially be the issue is with this ribbon cable here, both of these were not seated properly. Which is what I'm hoping. I, I can't guarantee you. Alright. So we got all three. One here, one below. Alright, so now the hard part of all this is putting all this back together and seeing if reseeding all these ribbon cables is going to make the difference. If it doesn't, I am about out of luck with the rust damage that I've seen a little bit here uh, that, that spilled into it. I don't know if that's affected the board. I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit more. Alright, now the hard part, putting all these ribbon cables back in. Not, not the most fun of jobs. Alright. God almighty, this thing's a pain in the ass. I feel so uh, sorry for the people that work on these things on a daily. I'm sure they're used to it, but man, my hands out in this cold shop do not like it. <laughs> all right, guys, we are getting close to the end zone here. We almost got all the ribbons back in place. One thing that I've noticed that's kind of peculiar is with these smaller ribbons, the one over here for the sound is missing the top flap that locks the pins in place. And I don't really know a good workaround to make to make sure that's locked in and pressing on the on the pins. I don't know if that has something to do with it or not, but we're going to put this back together and we're going to see if resetting the other pins did the trick. So before I close this up for good, I want you to take note on a couple of things on if this doesn't work, why I, I may not be able to fix it. Uh, number one, the biggest reason is I typically don't work on things like this. Um, secondly, I've noticed rust damage, water damage, and the biggest indicator obviously would be in the rust. Uh, you can tell right here, the, the little pad right here, this will turn pink. Whenever there is water damage or water has seeped inside or condensation, that sort of thing, you can tell by all around here. I don't know if that had something to do with it. I don't know exactly the full story on this 3DS. I, I just remember him saying it was a board swap and he couldn't get it to turn on. I don't know if it was working beforehand or what. Um, I tried resetting the, the ribbons themselves. I didn't see any like known spots of damage on the board. That I could see I cleaned off any of the um, the rust leakage that I could. So if this doesn't work, keep that in mind. And what I may do is I got a buddy of mine who works on things like this. Uh, who can do a better job than I can. I might reach out to him before this goes back to uh, the subscriber. But we're going to see. Hopefully we'll get lucky and this thing will cut on with just a simple ribbon reset. Um, we're going to find out. So let's check it out nothing I, I i don't know there's nothing that i could really do on my end you got the power light when you cut this on it flickers and cuts off it's beyond my capabilities like i said i'm going to reach out to a buddy of mine and see if this is something that he may want to work on if not it'll just have to go back to him i gave it my best shot which is what i told him i would do i told him this is something i don't normally work on but i'd be happy to look at it and see if there's anything that he missed 
Uh, unfortunately, I don't see anything. So with that said, it is one that I just simply can't fix. These are not my specialty at all when it comes to uh, working on consoles. Um, they're just a little bit too more too advanced for me, at least as of now, until I start learning a little bit more. Uh, but I was happy to try for him. He says, well, if you can't fix it, at least it'll make an episode. And that it did. So let's head over to the uh, game room and check out those packages that got sent in. And uh, wrap this up. Alright guys, so if you've been following the vlog episodes, you know that I'm highly considering just keeping it like this. If any packages come in, um, just open them up at the end of the vlogs. That way if I'm doing any refurb work, mod work, uh, repairs, or trades with you guys out there, just it gets back to you a lot sooner. Uh, so with that said, like I said, we got three packages here. Crazy looking stuff. I have no idea, honestly. Um, I know some trades with one of them, and the other one we're going to work something out. Uh, with something like this, I have no idea. This is a, a huge, long, four-foot, five-foot box from Amazon. Not entirely sure what's in there. And it just says Ring Beans on there as the name. I thought that was kind of funny. So I have no idea what this is. Um, so let's, let's check it out. Kind of nervous. There ain't no telling. It could be like a, a rifle or something. Pop me right in the head when I open it. All right. What are we pulling out here? What is this? It's this big stick of some sort. I don't know why I don't know why this is here but I'm not I'm not hating it I don't know who sent this in but it's a survival spear I like it uh, if people don't know I'm, I'm I love survival stuff post-apocalyptic anything anything like that I remember being young and reading the book the hatchet and it all stemmed from that I don't know why someone sent me a survival spear uh, I didn't even know something like this was legal. My wife's going to get a kick out of this. Uh, <laughs> you people are crazy. That's actually really damn cool. I'm going to have to have that in case someone tries to bust in here and take take a game from me. I'll jab them in the head. It's the weirdest thing someone has sent in. <laughs> but I like it. That's cool as hell. Uh, Alright, that, that goes down in the books as... That's the first time that's happened, so that's that's wild. All right, moving on, moving on to the next package. Uh, that's the weirdest thing ever. Oh, my wife's gonna get a kick out of that. All right, this next one comes from both of these next packages are from buddies of mine. This one right here is from Mr. Robbie K. He hit me up a while back talking about this, and he said he was gonna send it at some point. I told him Ed, you don't even have to send it, but he insisted. And when he shipped it, uh, he told me about it. I was like, well, what do you want for it? What do we, you know, what do you want me to pay you? He says, ah, we'll figure that out later on. And it's the same with the other person. It's like when my season starts up and I start getting lots in, they can have dibs on the stuff and we kind of work that way. Uh, but honestly, this is a big package. I don't know if this is just what that is or not. He's, he's a trip. Good guys. A survival spear? What the heck? <laughs> That's a first, man. All right, here we go with the note. Thank God for a note, man. I love notes. What's up, Ream Bean? It's your buddy, Robbie K. from Pennsylvania with a boxed NES. Hey, yeah, he said that he was going to send me a boxed NES. I told him that I'd keep it in the collection. It wouldn't be sold out or nothing. I uh, finally got a box and hopefully enough protection to get you get it to you unscathed. I couldn't get the NES working and just packed it up. Sealed up the box before checking how I left the unit inside. There may be some screws floating around. Hopefully not. Also included some goodies for your collection, man. You're too good to me, man. Uh, that I think you'll be happy about. In case you don't remember, which is very possible, knowing you, man, my memory is terrible. This is note from again. Uh, we we decided to figure out a trade later, which I did remember that because, like I told you there at the beginning. Uh, good luck in the refurb and enjoy it. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. And it's weird, just the things that I say just end up being something that I have to say. All right, what did you send, Mr. Robbie? He sent a bunch of. Look, that's a package that I sent to him that he uses as padding. Very smart. Uh, let's see, this is a huge box. And everybody knows I like to refurb my Nessas. I can usually knock them out fairly well. That'll probably be in the next uh, vlog episode here. We'll refurb that one up and get it up and running. This is the Ness here with our crazy... Honestly, I don't think that I have this variant too, so I'm pretty excited about having it in the collection oh my goodness good bubble wrap man oh yeah that'll get me to a couple packages next go around 
And there it is. The box is actually in pretty decent shape. You can see it's came up right here, but that's just not folded in, but a boxed NES. And I'm fairly certain I don't have this. I could be wrong. I have to double check, but it'll stay in the collection. Like right now, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six. With this one, seven boxed NES consoles, variants of all different ones. And there she is, the NES. We got a nice and yellow nest, but you know, that's how it goes with these things. We will refurb this thing and get it up and running in no time. And we will see what's going on with that. So let me try to fix this back in there. Oh, I'm running out of room already. All right, there's that. And he says some other thing. Oh, is it magazines? I, I know what he likes to send. You're a good guy, man. Really good guy. He knows that I... Oh, yeah, this is this is cool. Nintendo Powers, guys. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so, let's see right here. We got uh, what is this? Mario Kart right on the top there. Donkey Kong about to chuck Doom down on Mario's head. Uh, very cool. We got Super Mario Sunshine. Every single one of these Mario is depicted as, as, as a villain. Uh, for the most part, except for this one, these are cool, man. These I know I don't have these two. I know I I know for a fact because I don't recognize the covers. Oh, this is cool. TMNT three, the Manhattan Project. Oh God Almighty, that is cool. Super Castlevania four. Just the covers of the, oh man, I see the next one too. That is awesome. Oh, and this has a po poster is inside you. The Rocketeer, that's a gorgeous looking poster. If you don't know, I like to take the posters, actually cut them out, and you know, use them as a poster. I decorate around the house, they look really awesome. Uh, this is cool. And these are really nice condition, too. Battletoads, man. I heard that Battletoads was coming out with another game, and I'm not entirely sure what, when, or when that's going to happen. Super Spy Hunter, very awesome. All right, Mr. Robbie, you are. I want God's gift to the world. Make sure there ain't nothing else hiding. I'll always be scared if I throw something away. And you're like, man, you forgot this one thing or something. I'd be, I'd feel so bad. Uh, Robbie, thank you for that. Uh, like I said, hit me up, and we will work out a trade on what you're after. And if I get any good finds, you and Mr. Steve over here get the uh, first divs on that one. So let's move on to this final package, which I'm pretty nervous about because this guy has messaged me and he says. There's some things in there that I that I asked for for trade that, that I'm going to trade with them that I needed for the collection. And he also said, well, this is going to be like the best box I've ever sent you. I was like, oh my God. Um, oh, good God. <laughs> this is how nervous I am, as you can tell. Uh, so let's, let's open this. I got a survival spear, guys. Don't mess with me. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Oh, goodness. All right, Mr. Mr. Steve here. Oh, let me set this down. It's a pretty wild looking box here. Uh, folded all sideways. I think those are some of the best friendships that you can have relationships with the gaming community and people is when you can get to a point where you just fully trust them. Uh, with both of these people, you know, if they said, hey, I picked this up for you, I'd immediately pay them before they actually sent me the money or before they sent me the item. And I've done that on occasions, uh, especially with uh, Mr. Robbie, and uh, we got some sort of plane going on overhead. Um, and that's just an awesome level of trust to build with these people. And I couldn't be more grateful. It sounds like a helicopter. Do they know about my spear? Better unwrap that thing and get ready. If the zombie apocalypse breaks out, you know I'm prepared. Uh, all right, Mr. Steve, let's see see what's going on you got me a little nervous on this one all right there's no telling what's in here he's got a note on top so i'm grateful for <laughs> oh my god you guys make me <laughs> to, to the great and all collecting ring me but that's not it's not the, the most funny part that you put it all oh, greetings bud this package is long overdue in here are a bunch of trade items and the rest of the stuff i meant to send you for christmas for your collection but, yeah, now it's February. Better late than never. You never had to send anything to begin with, except for the trade stuff. That is something we're working on. <laughs> this package is a little thank you for all your hard work you put in making great content for us throughout the year. 
What you don't know is that I made myself a collecting goal this fall to help you out on your collection. I acquired most of this at little to no cost in trades, so don't panic. Get me nervous. The trade stuff we agreed is not wrapped in anything. The Christmas gifts are wrapped in some sexy Yoda paper, so you could differentiate, because I know you always be forgetting the... <laughs> and he says... All right, a while back I got a package um, from another Steve, uh, and he put a note... That, that referenced this Steve because he sent me stuff before and he ended up signing the OG Steve from Delaware but look at the picture that he put on there if any of the guys could recognize if any of you could recognize that that is from the uh, the latest uh, cartoon that I made um, called would you happen to have any video games I love making stuff like that I used to do it a little bit more often back you know when I started the channel uh, for, for gaming and I wanted to make that you know for the people that that like that and boy when I put that video up it got it got dislikes immediately but then obviously you know people started liking it but it was just different but I love making stuff like that because it's funny that's <laughs> my wife's gonna get a trip out of that all right mr. Steve uh, now some of the stuff that we traded oh yeah I'm, oh, I'm excited about this one uh, and he, he wrapped everything as good as it can be oh yeah I needed this big time this should be I can't remember if I asked I thought I had the game. Shadow Dancer for the Sega Genesis. I needed the box uh, for the collection. I can't remember asking for the game or not. I may send him the game back if he needs it because I have the game over there. I just needed the box. Um, so we will go with that. I can't pronounce this, but he says this is like a Zelda like game, so I'm very excited about it. Uh, Golvelius? Golvelius Valley of Doom and looking on the back it actually looks pretty damn cool oh, Sega Master System games are ugly as hell uh, but that's okay mm, it has a bunch of codes written on the manual too I love stuff like that because it's, just, it's 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 with the it's look they actually advertise with password save password saves suck uh, but Master System what can you do I'm excited to play that it really does look like a Zelda rip big time I can't blame them uh, Zelda's amazing. Alright, yeah, I see the Yoda paper. Oh, good. yeah, here's other stuff that I, yeah, for, for our trade. What I like about Steve is he knows my memory's ass, but yet I trust him. So he'll send me pictures of his loss. He's like, you need this, right? Or, or do you need any of this? I'll say, well, I need this and this. And he'll just tally everything up, keep, you know, like, he, he writes everything down. And then I just tell him, like, hey, how much do I owe you? Or what do you want for trade? 100% trust me. He's never done me wrong. He gives me amazing deals, and I try to do the same right back with him. Oh, uh, this is cool. NBA Jam in the box. Uh, I wanted this big time because uh, this is very nostalgic for me. I can remember uh, getting my ass beat multiple times when I was a kid by my older brothers on this game until I finally prevailed uh, and became a champion. I needed this. This is awesome. All Real Monsters. Who remembers that show? Man, that was classic. So creepy as hell, actually, if you think about it. Just the characters and their models. In the box. Very cool. Uh, an N64 game that I did not have, and it's in the box. NHL 99. So that is awesome. God almighty, everything. Did you seriously wrap all this? What the hell, man? This is really like a... Mm, this is like a Christmas for sure. Alright, you're going to get me all crazy. Alright, as you can see, everything is wrapped in Yoda paper. <laughs> Where do you even get Yoda paper? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, good god, man. Steve! You're going to get me... You're going to get me worked up. This has... To, I hope this is just a box. I got the game. Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. Everybody knows I'm a huge fan of Zelda. It's cliche as can be to be in the, in the gaming community. Like, what's one of your favorite series? Mine's Zelda, because uh, everybody likes Zelda. What's wrong with it? Zelda's the, one of the most amazing franchises out there. It's what got me into gaming. Oh, and the little Game Boy box protector, too. Thank you for that, Steve. I'm going to double check make sure the game is not in here, because I have the game, and that will be sent right back to you. I don't think it is. I think it's just thank you. All right, I can't be. Oh, Steve, you're killing me, man. Already. Mm -mm -mm. All right. You got me nervous on all this, man. 
big time nervous. All right, we got the Yoda paper is killing me. Ah. <laughs> man, Steve. Oh, you're killing me, man. I don't know what I've done to people's lives to make them do stuff like this. Uh, I'm glad I can impact you, but the collector's edition for Majora's Mask, the box. That is cool. That is God Almighty Zelda's getting love today, man. Big time. Alright. This is gonna this is hard stuff to get through, man. You got oh my god. Alright, next up. Steve, man, Steve, God Almighty. I don't I honestly I have no words for I have no words for any of this, man. And I'm pretty sure this has the game because I didn't have the game. Guys, I'm... I, it's hard for me to talk with this, man. It really is. God almighty. You think I won't mess around and send you something that you had no idea you were needing until I sent it. This is... Oh my god, this is cool. This is... St man, this is going to be hard getting through all this stuff, man. I'm a tough guy. I got a spear, but God Almighty. The old package. This is unreal, man. This is Christmas, that's for sure. Oracle of Seasons or Ages. I'm sorry. I, I'm getting choked up on this man. I, Steve. You got me shaking opening this stuff, man. Like, you don't have to do stuff. Nobody ever has to do anything like this. I I like to open this stuff up for, you know, straight up trades or, you know, I like everything, you know, everybody to get something. Like I said, I don't understand how I've done things for people that make them want to do stuff like this. It blows my mind. I'm uh, very grateful, uh, extremely grateful. Uh, we got one right here. I don't know what it is. Is this a Master Sword? Oh, it's Monopoly. <laughs> yeah, he said it was because he was throwing this in. I remember this. I needed a Monopoly for the Master System. Uh, I thought I was getting nervous for a second. I was like, God Almighty, what did he send me? Uh, I needed Monopoly. God Almighty, look at all of this. This is... This is unreal. Unreal. Alright, we got one right here. The Yoda packaging is killing me when I pull this stuff out of the box. This is another box that I needed. I don't remember these trays that I needed, but I do remember asking him that I needed that. Or telling him that I needed it. So he's got he's got me nervous when I open these up. Arcade collect this is the I needed this uh for the collection. This is part of a trade if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he knows. I, I don't. Uh, he keeps up with everything. Uh, another one here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did need this one there. This is another. See, he can keep up with all this stuff. I can't keep up with anything. Uh, Lotus 2 Racing. Another one for the Genesis, man. Very cool. God almighty. I'm going to have a fun night tonight playing a bunch of this stuff. Uh, super good time. Uh, oh, this is other stuff from the trade. I didn't even see this stuff. I went right for the Yoda pack, and we got other stuff. Like I said, the trades, I can't keep up with it, but he does very well. Uh, oh, goodness. Good bubble wrap, man. Oh, yes. Oh, man, I remember that. I, need, I, I sent this out in the Discord. I said, anybody got this? I need it for trade. And he's like, man, I got you. And he put that in there. Harvest Moon, Friends of Minerals Town. I have never played this, and I hear it's one of the best uh, for Harvest Moon. And I'm a big Harvest Moon fan. Uh, Y'all, he yeah, has some N64 games I did not have. Very cool part of the trade. Xena, Warrior Princess. And Miss Pac-Man. Very cool. Uh, we got Bugs Bunny, Rabbit, Rampage. These are things that he sent me pictures of. Said, do you need these and for trade or for purchase? And I said, these are the ones that I need. And he hooked it up. Rampart. I gotta try that one. I've never tried Rampart. And NHL 95. Very cool. Alright, there's one other package in here. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, and of course, it's the big package. Alright. It's this. Right here. It could be something that I'm going with trade. 
Oh, what the hell? <laughs> My God, Steve, why are you, why are you kidding me? It's official, guys. I gotta have an. I gotta have a new shrine. My shrine is 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 it's 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 obviously not gonna hold all this stuff. Uh, and it sh I hope it's just a box, and that 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 would be great because I can display the hell out of this thing, and it looks gorgeous. Oh yeah, it's just a box. That is good. Though. This box is absolutely sexy. Oh my god. Tell me if that ain't a minute. Look at my big head next to this thing for size comparison. Steve, Robbie, and the Mr. Anonymous who sent me a survival spear. I can't thank you guys enough for that. Uh, for the trades, Mr. Steve, once my season kicks up, as for you, Mr. Robbie, anything that you send me post, just hit me up on um, Instagram, Discord, wherever it may be. And, of course, I will send you what you are required back. Um, this is intense, guys. I appreciate everybody out there, and I hope y'all enjoyed this episode and learned something with the 3DS. As always, guys, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.